ori and a testicle yeah the next one we're going to do is the egg exercise before lady before go to the exercise for the lady to practice for the vagina contraction the vagina we separate for three parts the front part here and the middle part and the back part for the beginning for exercise if i said we're going to practice vagina contraction a lot of people it's not feel how to do it. We have a guideline. Like when the baby, when the, when the baby first born, the baby cannot grab the hand in and out, cannot open, close. If you put a guideline, put your finger in the baby and you told him, hold it one day, another day. You try to put the hand, hold the finger. And finally, the baby learned how to grab the feet, your finger. And the baby, no. The vagina also, we never excite this part. So it was like, so in nonsense. So you have to learn to how to exercise. Because the muscle here is very important. If this muscle not strong, you cannot have the hormone to supply your need. It's like all this part of area, this area. If you're not strong for the lady, if not strong on this part, you totally out. So it's need very important to exercise this area, the muscle to be very strong. And one way is held a guideline. You can put something in, put the egg in. If I say contract the first part, a lot of ladies say. How to contract it? Can you contract the first part? It's hard. Some of you maybe can, and some of you you don't. If you go to the bathroom, try to pass in the urine, and try to stop it. Stop the urine, then you contract the first part. The second part, the last part, the third part. How to contract the last part? If you push, try to increase your urine, that is the way, push it out, is to contract the last part. For the middle one, that is just your mind. You know the first part, the last part, and the middle one. Just close your eyes, squeeze it, squeeze the whole thing and relax. That is the way you squeeze the middle part here. And so we know three parts of the movement is the vagina. <laughs> when you do the vagina contraction, the first, the first part squeeze it, middle part, the third part, and relax. The first part, second part, and the third part, and relax. We call the vagina contraction. For the beginning, the best is to put the egg in. So you have the guy lie inside there. So when you squeeze the first part, you feel the egg come in. The second part, you feel a mess in the middle. So you have the feeling. And the third part, when you do the third part, so you can force the egg to come out. So you're going to move back and forth the egg in the vagina canal. We call the vagina contraction. Without the egg, also you can. You can do any time. Without the egg, like the man, you, you know, do the testicle bleeding, and you, you can do the vagina contraction all the time. Anywhere is a good exercise. You can to have the sexual organ very strong. And for cleaning the egg, General, if you are not sensitive, clean with water, clean water, that should be enough. But make sure clean it before you're using and after you're using. And the best way for, for when before you practice, clean up your body first. Usually when I do it, I do after I take a bath. 
and I clean it. And if you are very <coughs> sensitive to get infection, maybe one out of a thousand of the lady or one out of ten thousand, maybe some of the lady, very easy to get infection. It's all right. Drink a glass of water before practice. <coughs> Uh, maybe an hour or you know an hour or two hours before you practice. But after you practice, take the egg out, pass the urine right away. Because after the practice, you massage the blade and put the egg in, go to the process of practice, you finish, you do the big draw, bring the energy up. When you do the big draw, sometimes you force the muscle with the force of pruning you pull in some fluid from the vagina canal to the uterine tube. So if you're passing your urine out, that is the way you clean out. Because some of the lady very easy to get infection with the uterine tube and that's getting trouble. For the big draw also, after you do the big draw, if you think you are sensitive, make sure you pass the urine out after the practice. And for practice with the egg, it's good to practice every day if you have time. But not necessarily. One or twice a week, that's more than enough for the egg. But vagina contraction without the egg, you can do 10 times a day. The longer you practice, the longer you can, the more you can muscle the muscle there. For, for exercise that part of muscle. It's not only for peace to your partner. Only one thing is for your own body health. Because if this part strong, the lady hormone is the one make me have use. You stay younger, if you run out of lady hormone, you're getting older because you lack of the lady hormone. You're getting older. If this part very strong, so you have plenty of build up so much lady hormone so you can stay younger by you know getting 50, 60. You still look like so young. And you know for the byproduct you get it. So you can you know uh, please your partner, make you uh, more attractive, get <coughs> more personal power. Every people want personal power, attractive power. And for the beginning, when a lot of ladies, when they start to practice the ovary bleeding, and a lot of painful, because a lot of blockage here. We never exercise here, the energy. I think it's more than 50%, I can say more than 80% of the lady <laughs> have problem about menstruation. Emotional, that is minor problem. It's big problem, but a little bit. Menstruation cramp, very painful. You know, that is the biggest problem. If you have a lot of problem, menstruation cramp or a lot of blockage, for the beginning, it's hard for you to do the meditation or do the ovary breathing. I have some formula for helping for beginning move the energy flow. Uh, usually I use uh, a cup of whiskey <laughs> and a cup of honey, a cup of fresh sweet lamb juice or lemon juice also can. Lamb juice is more strong, put together. Don't drink it all. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it a long time. And you can mix it together, don't need to put in the refrigerator. The longer you keep, the longer the smell is getting good. And you drink it one to two tablespoons per day. During the, the whole month, except when you have period. And because this formula is how you move moving the energy in the lower part here. So by you keep it for a couple months. So you can help you start for the energy <coughs> to moving. And you can help during the period. On the first day, it come, the period come. 
if you have so much emotional or uh, a lot of cream, you can have it, four or five tablespoons, just drink it, and that's it, and no more. Because if you drink too much during the period, it's going to be a lot of flush out and you know make you very tired. So don't take during the period unless you have big cramp, you know, something like that. The longer you you keep, a little bit will you know change the chemical to smooth, you know, can be smooth the taste out. The longer you keep, the taste is better, and you know with the energy when doing it. In fact, support to be keep a man before you drink it, but it's all right. If you want her a hurry, you can just have it. And in the old formula, they said put it high and you know high somewhere under the right, right, you know, or underwear is have a dark room for a man and take it out for a drink. But it's all right. You can have it, you know, right away if in case of urgent or you want to keep it in the dark pit for a man and take it. It's okay. If you, for the practice, for the orient, orient breathing or the hearing love, I recommend you the small side up first. But for the ancient tree, I recommend you the big side up because easy for grab. And put it in easy <laughs> and take it out also easy. When you go out, so you push out, like you go to the bathroom, you want to have the bow or you want to have the pee pee out, when you push out, that is the way to push the egg out. From four or five years, we sell out six, seven thousand, mm, a lot. more we than don't, that. We have uh, only we one have case or two cases One stuck. or two cases that call me, the egg, one case call me. Money, I get in trouble. <laughs> Call Mother Chia. <laughs> there is, even when we haven't had the egg de uh, developed yet. Yeah. Call Mother Chia, you know, the egg get in. I said, why, why? Because, you know, what is the problem? Why she cannot get the egg out? She, this lady, she's quite weak and she has very emotional lady and she is fighting, you know, worry, fighting. So when she put it in, when she start fighting, what happened? The vagina cramp, it's like a big cramp, cramp it like, like this. So the muscle is not relaxed. Of course, no matter how she going to do, it's going to stuck inside that. So I told her, relax, it's all right. Drink a cup of water, or the first if they okay. Always practice with hot stand for the beginning. Hot stand, never lie down. After you're getting better, you can lie down. Any position, you can upside down. <laughs> Anything. But for beginning, when you practice it, if you have the string, it's all right. You can, any position for the beginning. But if no string, always the first beginning <coughs> with the hot stand. Put the egg in, like up, down, up, down, up, down. You know, push it up and down, up and down. If it gets stuck, you think cannot get out. Drink a cup of water, relax, walk. Maybe so you, you can know, rest and rest sleep. Why and go to the bathroom, passing the urine, and try to pass finger the urine. It's going to come out. If not, drink another glass of water. <laughs> okay. Um, so I sum up what um, the do in the egg exercise. There are a few stages of egg exercise. You put it in, you can squeeze the eggs, releasing, and let them move the egg up and down. And this is the volcano ash. When you boil it, make sure it's cool down first before you push it in. Otherwise, this can hold a lot of heat inside it. Okay? So, um, the another way, this one with the string is for the, for the weight. One, there are few stages of of egg exercise. One, you put the egg and move up and down. And then you can, can move the egg very well, and you need to increasing the weight of the, uh, of the script. You need to put the weight on. So that is, you put in the egg in the vagina. Usually, lady can do about half a pound. So this, this one, the lady generally can do it. If not, you can put a plastic bag 
get some marble and so, you just tie up here and you increase little by little until you can. Yes. So you, you hang it down, screw it very tight, and you just swing it. In the book, it's very clear. So you just swing it this way. And when you get good enough, you hang on, you can put on to one pound, two pound, five pound, ten pound, twenty pounds. <laughs> and after the egg exercise, or the vagina contraction, not remember, the big draw, draw the energy up, because you're going to get a lot of energy here. So you collect the energy up. Okay. So that is for the egg exercise for, for lady. Uh, men also have the sexual organ uh, exercise that's hanging on a weight there. That's in the Ayan Chi Qigong book we call the bone marrow Qigong. 